Hi, this is Greg Koopman. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to return variables from child jobs back to their parent jobs. Okay, here we are in Talon Open Studio, and I have two jobs. I have a parent job, as you can see, parent job, and I have a child job, okay? So what happens here is that the parent job is going to call the child job. And it does that inside this component called T run job. Okay, so we're going to go into that component, just take a look at how it's configured. And as you see down here, it's, re it's called returning parameter value from child, child. Okay, that's the name of the job that it's going to call. All right, it dies on child error, nothing special here ex except the schema. So there's two things I want to, there's three things I want to bring back from that child job. They're called status, customer number, and date. These are going to act as your variables. Although they're not labeled variables, they're not context variables, they're not variables in any sort of way, and I've referred in the title about variables, but that's how I think about them as variables because uh, these are being passed and being brought back. Although they're columns in the schema, you can think of them as uh, variables. Now, when I first started trying to do this, I was thinking, oh, I can pass maybe some context parameters into the child job and then somehow return them back. Okay, now that concept would be something like uh, what they would call call by reference, where you pass in parameters to, a, to another function and then basically change it in that function and then when it comes back, when you change in the function, it automatically will change it in the parent, kind of like a global variable across different jobs. But this doesn't work because Talon doesn't pass anything by reference, and at least not in the, the, the T-Run job case. It does not pass it by reference, and you can't pass it by reference. You're passing it by value, okay? You're passing it by value. So therefore, when you pass it by value, when you change in the child job, this con these context variables, that when you bring it back, they're not going to be changed in the uh, in the parent job. All right, so let's get we want to make that clear right from the beginning, so you don't have to go down that uh, rabbit hole. All right, so but what's important here is this edit schema. These are the guys instead of setting up your context here, like I was trying to do initially um, when I tried it. I found out that we, what you need to do is set it up in the schema here. So I'm gonna, I want to return status, customer number, and date. Okay? And once I return that from the child job, I'm going to use this uh, Java row um, component to go ahead and print those out so we can see whether it worked or not. Okay? So that's all that there is in this package. I'm trying to keep this super simple because the basics are all you really need to get started on this thing. And any extra fluff, extra scenario in this thing might confuse the issue. So I just want to show you how simple it is in the technique to do this. So again, just we'll remember that and we'll come back to that. Now let's go over to the, the child job. Okay. So the name of this, by the way, by the, the name of the parent job is called returning parameter value from child parent. The name of the child job is returning parameter value from child child. Okay. So we can keep those straight. So when we go over to the child job, so let's pretend this called the child job. The child job calls a component called fixed flow input. Okay. Why we use this is because I wanted to, um, one of the reasons is I could just hard code some values in here. You could pass things into this T fixed uh, flow input from a table, from a query, from a delimited file, whatever you want, but, or from, uh, maybe variables um, but in this case I'm just going to hard code it to keep it simple so I, I hard coded the status customer number and date to success 555 and, and the date okay so now once that continues this is where the magic is when you pass that you pass it to a T buffer output component a T buffer output component is memory that share it shares memory with the parent job that called it so whatever you change in here is going to affect exactly what goes back to that 
that, that um, parent job. Or if you think about it a different way, the parent job can read that piece of memory. So basically what we're doing is we're passing those values into this buffer output. Nothing fancy. Uh, there's not much to do in this component except for pass the data in and make sure your schemas are set properly. So I need the state. So I'm pulling in status, customer number, and date from the fixed flow input. And I'm passing it into the T buffer output as status, customer number, date. Nothing fancy, right? But this does a lot of work, does the work. So once I do that, it will then, and then, then after it's done, that's all there is to this job, it returns back to the parent job. And in the parent job, we're going to display those values. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate this. And by hitting run, and I'm going to run. So the parent job calls out to the child job. The child job pushes that those values into the buffer. Then, then the, it comes back to the job here. It runs uh, uh, the T job row. And in here, that's where it prints out and, and, and calls the um, values for the different um, columns. So here's status. So status equals success. Customer number, it equals 555. And date, it equals 2018-11-24. Okay, so that's how easy this is. Now, how you use it, it, it there, there's a tremendous number of ways to use this. Um, but I wanted to show you the basic technique, because once you get the basic technique, you can do what you want with this thing. Okay, what I want to also point out is that there will be two other videos that I'm going to, that I'm creating, and probably more, but there'll be two that you can look for uh, that have, that use the same technique in their, um, in their scenarios. They're more elaborate. Um, one of these is uh, setting up automatic job retries after connectivity error. And the other job is a simple process log design pattern. So look for those if you want to see a more elaborate example of how this is used. Uh, but there's many uh, use cases where you can use this uh, dynamic. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will watch some of my other videos. Thank you.